All right, guys. So got the Model T frame here that we need to sandblast. Um, not too bad. There's some pitting on here and stuff, but a lot of just surface rust and grease and stuff. We're gonna blast that off. We got this Job Smart sandblaster here. Picked up a charter supply. We're gonna get started here on this, and we'll show you. All right guys, so this section here took about maybe a minute or so. So, as you can see, it does work pretty good. Um, it might take us a couple hours to do something. Um, we're gonna try to do a time lapse of it here for you guys. Um, I don't know how good that's gonna work or not, but hopefully it works and you guys can see that then.
All right, guys, we got this top here. Um, Stand is pretty good. We're gonna flip it over and get the bottom. Um, there shouldn't be a whole lot to do on the bottom, but we're gonna flip it over and see how much it is. All right, guys, so we've been working on this for a couple days now, off and on sandblasting it. Um, we're gonna try to paint it today here quick um, for a rust again. What we're gonna be using is this rust oleum farming implement. I don't know, it says it stops rust and heavy duty, all that good stuff. This is primer. We're gonna put this on here quick. Um, it's probably all we're gonna get done tonight. Maybe, maybe one or two coats. Um, all right, guys. Thank you for joining us back here on the Mount T today. Um, we got it um, primed here, as you guys can see. So we got like all this primed and everything. And we wanted to just do the um, the rear, the emergency brakes and the bushing and stuff in the front and back um, before we painted the frame um, we were thinking about we're sort of thinking about getting new bushing stuff or not bushing bearings for here but they're pretty expensive because as you can see here if i can get it out here these are like i mean you can see by my finger, they're like really about as long as my finger. Also, they're big. They're big bearings, and they're not too cheap. So we clean these up pretty good, and they spin really good and everything. Um, so we're probably just gonna grease these up real good, put them back in there, and we don't plan on be driving this a whole lot necessarily. So we'll just probably reuse all them. Um, we did get new emergency brake linings. Here's the old ones. Um, it goes around here, and then when you twist it, they. So I'll show you. So this this thing right there, when you twist, when you pull on the lever, that twist and expands the band, which then grabs against the hub down there. So, and that's your emergency brake. So we're gonna. Put new linings on here, hopefully. Um, and clean, and just clean out the bands pretty nice and good then. But yeah, I'll put new linings on there probably. And that's about all. We do have, we got some new um, seals and stuff. The front ones here. <coughs> Still got them taped off from paint. But we'll probably clean them up. And I have the hubs for them inside here somewhere. Right here is one of the hubs and we'll clean them up maybe with a wire wheel or something. And here's the new brake linings and everything we got, the emergency brake linings. Um, we got the new seal and stuff, so we're gonna put all them in and then we're gonna get the frame painted. So we pop the cotter pin out, then this bolt here usually isn't that tight, or the other one wasn't too tight on there. I'm gonna go get someone to get that off quick and then we'll show you. Alright, guys, we got a 516 socket here. And this should come off pretty easily. Um, yeah, like that. Just came right off. So, I'm gonna unscrew this. And then we're just gonna pull this off. Okay guys, so I forgot there is a little key in here which may get stuck a little bit. So we just have a small puller here. We're just going to put this on here and it should pop off fairly easy.
there we go it just popped off like that pull it out make sure you don't lose your key here that is gonna fit into the axle so make sure you don't lose that and you can see here while you want to get these cleaned out and everything there's like um a lot of the sandblasting um grit in there like the media from that so we just want to clean them out all right guys we got new ones of these these springs so we bent this one it's not that big a deal but all you gotta do is these are hooked up in here i just took a screwdriver and basically just wedged it in there popped it down off there and then once you get that off it'll just come off and then you just kind of pull these apart a little bit to clear these tabs you just kind of stretch it out a little bit pop it over that tab and then you can just pop it off like so Alrighty guys, get these old brake pads off, no problem at all. Just get yourself a flat regular head screwdriver. Pry it in there. It'll pop it right off the rivets. Don't gotta be gentle with it. We'll just tear it off. And it'll rip it right through those rivets. Just something like that. Not hard at all. Alright guys, thank you for joining us back here today. We've been working on it for a few days off and on on the frame. But before we get started here today, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, let us a comment. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps us to make more videos for you guys like this one. Now, today we're going to be, well, a couple days ago we got this hub on. Um, today we might possibly get this hub and brake band and everything on possibly but what I want to work on now is after we sandblasted a lot of these like um, shackles or whatever you call them bushings have got sand in them now what I want to do is take out these clean them up good maybe put some grease in there and put them back together so that's what I'm gonna be working on now and we're gonna get started on that all right guys so there it is you can see all this old grease and everything so I'm just going to clean this up with like a wire wheel and then maybe smear some grease on here and put them back in there and it's off there because it's, it's kind of buckled up over this side but we'll have to straighten it out there and put it back on alright guys we got the front one out here this is on the front like suspension um, so I got it cleaned up put some grease on there and we're just going to slide it back in there then uh, clean out those a little bit too those holes and then slide it back in there All right guys, so we got this greased up. We're just gonna slide it in here There we go now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little plate here we got and we're going to slide that over top of there. Just like that. We're going to take our bolts. We'll throw them back on. And once we get them tied up, then we'll just put the pins in here. And it should be good then. Alright guys, so we, this is all pretty much cleaned up. We're going to go ahead and throw another, well, not another coat of primer, but another a black coat on it. So we'll get that, um, I'm gonna set the time lapse up here for you guys and try to show you that. And we're gonna get started here.
suction gun for the diff here. We sucked that out. And then we got this 600W axle and transmission lubricant. This is specialty stuff for this. I think we got it from Lang's. Um, I think it's Lang's old car parts. They do a lot of Model T stuff. So, pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure we got this from Lang. So, we're going to put this in here. Um, I'm, this is like a special stuff for this here. But, um, yeah, you just fill it up, I guess, till it runs out here then. We got the front hubs put on, and let's see, we greased them up, put them on as you can see here. Um, we just cleaned up the old bearings, cleaned them up pretty good. They weren't too bad, put new grease in them, and it's all painted as you can see. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try popping the tires on here quick. Um, we got the rims of those um, sandblasted and power coated friend of ours did that for us um but you'll be able to see those here in a minute but we're gonna go ahead and put them on we're gonna do time lapse probably putting them on here for you guys so let's get started all right guys so I just put some Sheesh. painters tape around the lug nuts here just to keep them from getting all scratched up when we tighten them on but um yeah so now we're gonna put the tires on all right guys there's the first one on um, we did happen to lose this one lug nut on this one this one hub so we're not we're just gonna let it like this for now we'll get that later put that on there but um, another thing too is these aren't the hub caps the hub caps are supposed to go on before you put the tire on and the hub we don't have new ones right yet and we're not sure what we're gonna do because the old ones are kind of rusted so we're just gonna let it like this now then we can just pull these off put the hub caps on and then put the tire back on once we're ready for that when we decide what we're going to do with those but i'm going to go ahead put the rest of the tires on and then we'll show you it Alright guys, so I'm pretty sure in the last video we told you this video would be the frame restoration and we'd show you the completed engine. So, I'm going to go and show you the finished engine real quick. Um, so yeah, let's go check that out. Alright guys, so there it is. It's, I mean, it's not totally finished, but it's really close to me. It basically needs wiring and stuff yet. Alright guys, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, hit the like button. Um, let a comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next video. Thanks for watching.